I have water in my horn. How do you get water out of a rotary trumpet is probably the most frequently asked question I receive. You have to remember one thing in particular. Let gravity do the work. As I'm sitting here talking, water is dripping down into the lower slide, the tuning slide and the lead pipe. The best, quickest way is to simply take the slide out and pour. You've gotten the water down. If you have the, the ability to make some noise, you can keep the lead pipe low and blow through the valves. Should be good. Now sometimes you can't blow, make a lot of noise, so the best thing to do is to play. You notice you have water. Take your horn, keep the lead pipe on the lower side, tilt the horn, slide, take the mouthpiece out, tilt the horn slightly, and just wiggle and pour. And you'll get most of the water. What a lot of people do is they tilt the horn too far, so water ends up going back into the slides where it's, where it's been hiding. Most of the water in a rotary trumpet ends up at the juncture between the end of the lead pipe and the first valve. That's where most of the heat of your breath is. That's where most of the condensation happens. So you can also just simply play and then tilt and take out the first slide and flick. Just put it back in. That's the fastest solution. When you have a rest, make sure that you, that you keep the horn so that the lead pipe is low. You pull the slide and do this. Spit valves on these horns, the spit valve on these horns is basically worthless because the water's going to be down in here, not here. You can't get it there comfortably. There will be some, and it always fools you. But the best way is to play, tilt, pull, pour, blow. You should get most of it that way. Or if you don't have time and you want to do it quietly, play, put it on your right leg, take the mouthpiece off, just turn, wiggle the valves and let it drip out. Should be okay now. <laughs> Good luck. You're welcome.